time. Hey, when we set up, we're ready to go. Hi, I'm stage director James Alexander. Welcome to our latest blog. With modern technology at our fingertips, it is literally possible to work with teams across the globe. For the preparation of these concerts, which are not the only projects I'm currently involved in, I've had to travel as well as work across many technological platforms. For these Tukovsky concerts alone, I found myself in Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, where I met up with Yannick, New York and my native Glasgow. One of the fundamentals of stage directing, be it operas or concerts, is knowing the scores. For me, listening to the music repeatedly, cross-referencing different recordings and studying the scores gives my brain room to imagine. When I hear music, I see images. For this project with the Philadelphia Orchestra, I sat down and revisited Stokowski's extraordinary orchestral arrangement of Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor, which Stokowski recorded and presented to the world in 1927 on his first 78 RPM disc. Previously, I had always imagined seeing, when I heard this music, an organ keyboard and a pair of majestic hands floating across the keyboard. This time around, knowing I had a huge canvas of the Academy of Music to fill, and using the very orchestra that Stokowski had recorded this piece with, I saw things very differently. Yes, I imagine an organ playing, one commensurate with the huge orchestration. Everything's huge about this. I immediately saw inside a huge organ, a huge church, a huge stained glass window. I wanted to turn the whole auditorium into a church organ. I gave this idea to Brad Sitton, my lead art director for the graphics and images that you, the audience, will be immersed in for these concerts. We then both went on to do some research to find the right look to match the orchestrations. Following the score, but without trying to create a slavish narrative or a sound and light show, if you will, my mind wandered back to a visit to Bach's church, the little St. Thomas Church in Leipzig, which I visited some time ago. I was reminded of a really beautiful crafted mosaic stained glass window and the image that the colourful window cast across the centre of the church. When the opening section of this view begins, I see that window and I see it splinter into a thousand pieces and take on a life of its own, depicting all sorts of crazy historic Germanic images. At my meeting in London with Yannick, I asked him what images he saw when he heard this music. And he threw in some great keywords like castles, stained glass windows, churches. And so began our collaborative process. Brad and I began to find some Saxon castle images and some other looks to match the music. Some fantastical ranges of images to draw upon. One of the other key factors in these concerts in Philadelphia well, in fact, in any stage show, is lighting. To work with a sensitive and creative lighting designer is a joy. The process of lighting a show involves me describing the setting to the lighting designer and suggesting a color palette, telling him what I want. They naturally check budget and then optimize the creative vision with the correct equipment. With these concerts in Philadelphia, a good number of considerations have to be balanced. The orchestra must be able to read the scores. The images we project have to be seen. Special effects must never upstage the orchestra. And the lighting needs to complement and enhance the emotion or the narrative set by the composer. Add like your drawings and stuff. 